Good day, dear students. Our lesson for today is all about traditional houses of cultural groups. For our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to discuss pictures of localities where different cultural communities live and understands that each group has distinct houses and practices. A for E L I A, the Baha'i Cubo. Many people dream of living in their own house. Some dream of a house complete with huge swimming pool and lush garden. Others want a modern and sleek house. Many prefer live in a simple house. For the cultural groups in the Philippines, their concern is more on building a useful or practical house. An example of a practical dwelling is the traditional Baha'i Cubo. The Baha'i Cubo has many functions. The upper part is for sleeping, cooking, or dining. The bottom part, on the other hand, can be used to store unhusked rice, piles of wood, or small farm animals. The materials used to make a Baha'i Cubo and its structure are also perfect for the tropical climate of the country. That is why Baha'i Cubo is found in many parts of the country. Other traditional houses of cultural groups. A simple but practical traditional houses are the following: Fail of the Afugao in the Cordillera that has a feature that protects the stored food from rats and other pests. Sina Dumparin of the Ivatan in Batanes protects inhabitants from strong winds and typhoons that frequent the area. Lepa is a boat house of the seafaring Sama Bahu in Tawi Tawi and Sulu. Sama Badjau also build stilt houses over the coastal shallows. Tree house of the Mandaya in Davao Oriental protect the dwellers against wild animals. Other indigenous houses are built in accordance with the beliefs of the community. This can be seen in the construction of the base sinug. The traditional house of the Tashug, who believes that their houses must have nine posts that correspond to the different parts of the body, they also believe that the construction of base sinug symbolizes the birth of a human. Some traditional houses have become a symbol of one's status in the community. An exa plus of this is the Maranao Tarogan. It is a house reserved for those with high social status, including the Sultan and Datu. The Tarogan has many functions as it is used not only dwelling, but also it is used not only for dwelling, but also for weddings, burials, and other community rituals. Thank you for watching in this video. I hope you learned something today. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content.